Okay, you made it. All right. So yesterday I gave you three tip post ideas for your social media. Today I'm going to give you five more post ideas for social media for building your business and your brand. So we talked a little bit about um, posting and praying. So what that looks like is you make a post on social media, you pray, pray, pray that someone goes to your website and makes a purchase or you pray someone goes to your website and becomes a part of your organization or a distributor for your company. And I'm here to tell you that's posting and praying and that's not why we post. So we post to generate engagement, which is a lead, and those leads, then we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them, making sure our product's right for them, answering any questions that they have, and letting them know that they can become a distributor of our company. So I'm not gonna go much into that. I will actually, I will post the link in the comments for the replay from yesterday's live. It was really good. I gave you three post ideas, but today I'm gonna give you five post ideas. If you're just hopping on and you see the red live button over here, go ahead and hit the share button and start inviting your friends to hop on this live and watch with us. Okay. So for those of you that don't know me, I'm Liz Medley. I have been an entrepreneur since 2003. I was 19 years old. I started a business. I ended up growing into the top 1% of the industry. And about four years ago, I sold the business that I had for 11 and a half years. And I've been building my business and brand all through social media. I teach and train other entrepreneurs to do the same thing. I do some public speaking and I love, 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 helping people leverage their time so they can have freedom and chase after their wildest dreams. And so I'm gonna give you guys some ideas to help get you moving forward in that direction. So the first one is a third party product post. So this would be someone else's results. This would be posting a testimonial um, or a before and after of someone else's results from your product. Do not mention the company that you're with. Do not mention the product that you're using. When you give too much information away, it does not pique curiosity. People are not going to ask. And they can even go and do their own research and maybe find stuff that you that's not so good or like you know biased opinions. And so, um, but ultimately, it's so you don't want to give too much information away. You don't want to give away pricing. You don't want to give away the product name, the company name, because then people aren't going to ask questions or they're not going to comment or they're not going to like. And then you don't have that lead to then go have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with. So uh, that is number one third-party product post so posting someone else's results um, number two is share an income testimonial um, from someone in your company this can be a sideline upline downline um, you may not be able to mention the amount of money and sometimes that's a little bit tacky um, but you can share the benefits of what your product or your business um, has done financially for yourself for teammates for others um, I've seen people post about cars or retiring their husband or you guys see me go on a lot of vacations um, it could be someone staying home with their kids quitting their job retiring their husband it could be um, buying groceries without touching the family budget it could be getting a manicure every single week and not having to ask your husband for money to do it or getting a manicure every single month without touching the family budget, right? Getting your hair done. It doesn't have to be these extravagant big things because more people are actually gonna relate to the little wins and the little successes. You know, like buying groceries without touching the family budget, like, oh my gosh, that's totally awesome. So more people are gonna be able to relate to that than these big crazy stories, okay? Um, so share an income testimonial, that's number two. Um, if you are just hopping on, make sure you say what's up. If the red box is not here, you are in the after party. So comment below hashtag after party and go ahead and touch my nose, touch my nose and hit the follow button. All right. So let's go on to number three, team recognition. Team recognition is a great post because this lets other people know, it lets your audience know that people other than yourself are having success. It could be a sideline, it could be an upline, it could be a downline, it could be a coworker, it could be whatever. 
but sharing someone else's success and recognizing them. Maybe, here's an example, last night I had a teammate, she's been in business with me for five months, and she sent out her first message to someone offering the business to them. She followed the system. She sent me a message. She said, you know what? If I want to be successful in network marketing, I've got to build a team. And she said, I'm going all in. And I said, okay, you know, here's the system that we use. Here are the steps. Like, let's, let's do it together. Let me know if you get it sent out. And she did it. It took her five months to get there, but that's huge. Most people quit at three months in network marketing. So she made it to five months and she just did it. It was a huge success. So I shouted her out because more people can relate to her being afraid to send those messages. I've been in business five, five months and finally doing it versus this heavy hitter who sold $5,000 this month. She sponsored 30 people, you know, those just badass people that come in and just rock, you know, just rock it. They're always getting the success and they're, they're always getting the recognition. So recognizing someone for something smaller is very, very powerful. But also when you recognize people publicly and you recognize um, them for taking action, not only does it empower the person that you shout it out, but when you recognize people publicly, it lets your audience know other people, other people are having success. So. All right, let's go on to the fourth one. If you are just hopping on, you know what, I'll do a real quick recap. The first one was sharing, sharing product results or a product testimonial from someone else without mentioning your company and without mentioning the product. The second one was sharing an income testimonial, um, not the amount of money, but maybe a vacation or buying groceries without touching the family budget. Um, and the third one was recognizing teammates publicly so other people know that people are having success. And then the fourth one is um, a benefit post. Um, think of some major benefits that your product or your service is having on people. And again, don't talk about the product and don't talk about the company name because when you tell so much information or the price, people, you've answered their questions and then you don't capture that lead and know that they were even interested or even saw the post. So don't give too much information. Um, but you can create a post that talks about, uh, maybe problems that your product or service can solve. So make a list of challenges and then make a list of solutions and let people know that you have a solution to their problems and start with the pain point. Start talking about maybe they, you know, Whatever, you got it, make two lists and do it. Let's just get through this. All right, uh, the next one is, and this is the fifth one, um, accomplishment post. If you've accomplished a milestone in your business and in your company, talk about it, talk about it. And you don't have to call it like a double diamond or an orange or a, a status name because that doesn't mean anything to anyone other than people that are in your company doesn't mean anything to other one, anyone else that's in your company. So, um, but, be, but share your accomplishments, share it. Let them know that your team size has grown. Let them know that you're helping change lives. Let them know, um, something that, something that you did, you know, maybe you've earned a trip. It's okay to talk about this. Like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. My hard work earned me this incentive trip. And it's not a boastful thing because we have people in our audience that go to work every single day and they're working hard, but their company's not offering up incentive trips. So it's okay to post about your accomplishments. Just be tasteful. Don't be like, in your face, you don't get this, you hate your job. Like, don't talk about people hating their job and sucks, you know, Mondays don't suck, your job sucks. Like, that's kind of rude. Like, no, like, no, don't be that person. But it is okay to say, you know, my hard work earned me a car bonus. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I was working hard for my employer, you know, for 20 years. I never got a car bonus for them. But all of a sudden, I worked hard over here, just as hard, same hardness, same, you know, work ethic, and I get this. So it's okay. So those are five 
more post ideas for you um, business owners, people who are building a brand on social media. I will post yesterday's replay link um, in the comments here. So then you will have eight post ideas for your business and your organization. Before I hop off of here, one more thing. Tap your screen. I want you to tap my nose on your phone, hit the follow button, and go ahead and hit the share button. Hit the share button so someone else can benefit from these tips. All right, y'all. I believe in you, and my wish is that you believe in yourself. See you later.